Toledo BizConnect TV proudly presents this episode of Internet Video Tips, Growing Your Business with Video, with your host, online video specialist, Pat Altvader. Hi, today I would like to tell you three tips for creating dynamic interview videos. Some of you use video to create content for your followers and may have an occasion where you'd like to interview an expert. These three tips should help you create dynamic, engaging interviews. Tip number one is to do your research. So if you're interviewing an author, you probably want to read their book. If they don't have a book, you want to look at their website, see what articles they've written, find out more about them, and kind of get an idea of what you think the people who follow you would want to know from this person. Basically, probably the same thing that you want to know. And the best way to approach it is just to make a bullet point list of topics that you would like to discuss. If you make a list of questions, and especially if you send those questions to them, then you both will be overprepared, especially if they memorize their answers to the question. Your interview will come off as stilted and stiff. And instead, you want it to be a genuine exchange. So just make a bullet point list and that you could share with the person that you're interviewing. Tip number two is to help your interviewee relax. Most people get a little tense when they see the video camera come on, and so if you can help them relax, that will make your interview so much better. And here's a couple things that you could do. First of all, when you're getting the camera set up and figuring out the positioning and all the staging, don't have them involved. Have them somewhere out of sight because sitting in a place where they know that they're going to be filmed makes people more nervous. And second of all, when you start your camera rolling, tell them you're just going to ask a few warm-up questions and then ask some lighthearted questions. In fact, the more you can use humor at the beginning, the better it is to get this person to relax, knowing that editing is your friend so that much of that will be edited out. In fact, all of that warm-up would be edited out and once you get to the questions you really want to find out and have on the film, the person will be relaxed and ready to answer those. Tip number three is to make your interview conversational. You've probably seen interviews that come off like interrogations where the interviewer is just firing off questions to the person on the hot seat and they're answering back in stilted answers. So you don't want to come across like that. What you want to do is have it be more of a conversation, which means that your part is about listening listening to what they say. And when they're done speaking, then you can respond or react, maybe have another question that follows on to what they just got done saying. So that makes your uh, conversation seem a lot more genuine and authentic and like it would be if you were just talking to that person. And when you do it this way, you might not cover every one of your bullet points, but if you get information that you think your viewers are going to be interested in, then you've done a good job. For more information on this topic, go visit my blog post and especially read the article that talks about staging and how to stage an interview. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Toledo BizConnect TV thanks you for watching this episode of Internet Video Tips with Pat Altvader. For more great information, visit Pat's website at www.afpmarketinggroup.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo BizConnect TV.